Hey everybody, welcome back to the Crypto Sherpa channel where I read you that crypto news and also you get to see a tattoo get done behind me. <laughs> but no, yes, I read you that news so you don't have to. So today's article is coming from Cointelegraph and Bitcoin supply to run out on exchanges in nine months, says Bybit. Hmm, that's, a, that's a bold statement, but supplies on exchanges will dry up in nine months after the upcoming Bitcoin halving and continued accumulation by Bitcoin ETFs. So yeah, guys, don't fall for the dip right now. It's a trap. They're going to gobble it all up and it's going to be very, very hard unless you personally know someone who will uh, sell you Bitcoin. But yeah, like I, be like I believe this could be a possibility, at least one of the outcomes out there. But no, we've been getting we've been getting nothing but articles like saying like how supplies are running low, running low, and now uh, like the ETFs are always gobbling it up. MicroStrategy is definitely always gobbling it up. Uh, I believe today the Hong Kong ETF got approved, so now we have China about to be uh, <laughs> gobbling up all the Bitcoin. And then I heard some like European countries going to be doing their ETF. Like it, guys, like it. This could be an actual scenario. So get this Bitcoin while you can. Buy the dip because you probably won't get another chance. But we'll see what happens. But let's go through this article. Bitcoin supply on cryptocurrency exchanges will dry up in nine months. Uh, thanks to the 50% supply uh, issuance reduction of this week's upcoming Bitcoin halving. Provided that demand from United States Bitcoin exchange traded funds continues, Bitcoin post halving supplies dynamics will see exchange reserves run out of Bitcoin. And according to an April 15th report by Bybit, they said the Bitcoin reserves and all centralized exchanges have been depleting faster. With only 2 million Bitcoin left, we assume a daily inflow of 500 million to Bitcoin spot ETFs, the equivalent of around 7,142 Bitcoin will leave exchanges. Reserves daily, suggesting that it will only take nine months to consume all that remaining reserves. Now, the Bitcoin reserves on central exchanges fell to a near three-year low of 1.94 million Bitcoin on April 16th, According to the crypto quant data, here's that chart showing that. Let's see, what's the blue line indicate? Do, do, do. Oh, exchange reserves and the price of the USD. So the price has been spiking as it's been going down. So don't fall for it. Like it's going to keep going up. But the report comes amid a wider market slump that saw Bitcoin fall over 10% during the past week to $62,924 at 1.36 p.m., according to the coin market cap. Now, Bybit, the world's third largest exchange, expects Bitcoin's price to start recovering from the current correction, according to the report. Now, with this in mind, it's unsurprising that Bitcoin's price may continue to climb before the halving or even afterwards as the supply squeeze propels the price to another new record. Now, weekly inflows to spot Bitcoin ETFs have been slowing down since March. Now, last week saw over $199 million worth of net inflows into the ETFs down from $2.58 billion in the week beginning March 11th, according to the Dune Analytics. Right here, we can see that chart from the Bitcoin ETF's weekly net flows. Again, the source is from Dune, from when it first started back in January. Mm -hmm. Now, despite the recent slump, the spot Bitcoin ETFs have amassed over 841,000 Bitcoin, worth $52.9 billion, with $12.7 billion net flows since launch according to dune and i believe blackrock is the guts that hold at least a hundred so that's at least one eighth of all of that <laughs> now bitcoin investors allocation has also risen since september of 2023 institutions are allocating an average of 40 percent of total assets to bitcoin while retail investors average a bitcoin allocation of 24 percent according to the Bybit's asset allocation report from February 24th. Now, Bybit noted that both crypto native firms and traditional institutions are gaining increasing exposure to Bitcoin via ETFs or proxy stocks such as MicroStrategy. Now, the exchange expects more institutions to follow suit. They were like, we believe that not all institutions have been able to gain exposure since the approval of the Bitcoin spot ETFs in January of 2024, as their investment mandates restrict them from investing in new products that have been in the markets for only a few months. So some people still have been left behind and not being able yet to get into it, but that's soon going to, that's, yeah, I don't know. Is that going to change? Are they going to get easier on it or... 
It's going to get even harder. Where it's... <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this article read through. If so, smash that thumbs up article for me. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.